Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything's Classic Toy Reviews. Back again with another one of these Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origin figures. And this is Ninja Strike Scarlet. As you can see here, I got this one on clearance. Pretty much every one of these I bought, I got them on clearance. I don't really think they were at full price. At a discounted price, yeah, sure, why not? Let's take a quick look at the packaging. You see one of these packaging, you see them all. Pretty straightforward, pretty basic. We can see just a picture of Scarlet on the back here with all our weapons in our hands. And we can see on the back here too that it actually shows that she has this spring loaded action, which I actually really love about these figures. Other than that, this packaging is pretty plain. So I'll be right back with this one out of the package so we can get a closer look. Alrighty, so we do have Scarlet out of the package. For accessories, she has this gun that can also turn into a crossbow, which is pretty cool. We have a bow as well which we've seen before with this figure. And that being said, she has two knives as well that we've seen with this Snake Eyes figure. You see these knives here as well. So Pretty common for Hasbro to have reuse, especially for these basic figures. If they do it for the classified line, I'm sure they're gonna do it for the basic figures as well. But I'm not complaining, man. I think it's pretty cool that you can turn this one into a badass crossbow. So let's get a closer look at this one. Not a fan of the face sculpt. It's not a very good face sculpt at all. The detail in this eye is actually pretty good. This one here, the paint is actually uh, smudged over on the side here. This eye actually looks pretty weird. Not a fan of the overall face sculpt at all. I think they could have did a better job with that. As for the hair, the hair looks pretty good. We can see some layering in her hair, and it's, obviously it's up in a ponytail. Uh, as for our overall uniform, uh, paint application is pretty rough on this. We can see a lot of yellow paint on this one shoulder. On um, both sides, actually. Pretty plain looking figure overall. Nothing really extravagant. Nothing really pops out about this one. I'm sure they could have just made this one flat, straight piece of plastic. But they did actually put some time to uh, sculpt some straps here and some armor on the outside. And the belt is painted on it as well. It's not a loose piece. It's all one solid piece. Sculpted into the mold. Just painted on. And the paint application on that is pretty sloppy as well. Pretty decent looking sculpt, uh, just the paint application is pretty horrible. And like I said, the face sculpt would have been better. Considering Scarlet in the movies and TV shows, comic books and all that stuff, not a lot of resemblance to any of those. So that's pretty much it for a closer look. Let's go over our articulation. Our head barely goes side to side. You get a full rotation. Goes back this far, forward this far. So you got a little bit of range of motion there. Not a whole lot, just a little bit of wiggle room. Your shoulder goes up this far. You got your full rotation all the way around. Single joint endless elbows which go just about 90 degrees and you have a rotation there as well and you have this spring loaded action here as well this one actually pops back and forth really nice probably one of the better ones so far out of the line that I had and for her legs her legs go forward this far back this far so somewhat restricted comes out to a full split but you do have a rotation that spins all the way around there as well and for her knees you have single jointed knees which come out to a 90 degrees and there's a rotation there as well no boot cut no hinge and pivot or rocker joint at the ankles. So I mean, it's a basic figure with basic articulation, but going into this line, I mean, you pretty much know what you're gonna get anyways. Obviously it's not the same detail and not the same quality that you're gonna get in a classified series, especially for a points point. Like I said, these are $14.99 and these are $33.99. Like I previously mentioned here, we see the detail on the face map. Obviously I know these are cheaper figures, but I expected a little bit better face sculpt for Scarlet. Pretty awesome face sculpt to this one. And even the movie figure Scarlet has a pretty awesome face sculpt. But like I said, I mean, the price point's not there. These are almost triple the price of what these are. All right, let's assemble our crossbow. That's pretty cool, and you can put these knives on the side there as well. So overall, man, I think it's pretty cool. Not a bad looking weapon. And it should fit in either hand. Plastic on these are a bit stiff too, so. But it fits in there nice, man, nice and snug. It's not going anywhere. The joints itself can actually hold up the weapon. Hopefully we can get the leg exposed so that I can hold up the weapon. Alright, so there she is with the weapon in hand. Like I said, it's a pretty cool looking weapon. You do have a lot of options. The bow in her hand, this is what she looks like with just the bow as well. Still pretty cool. And let's pop those knives in her hands as well. So obviously she's awesome at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like I previously mentioned, she does have this spring-loaded action here. I like it, man. This one actually pops back pretty, pretty fast. Especially if Scarlet's fighting this red ninja here. She wants to stab him, slash him. You guys get the point. All right, for comparisons, here we have Snake Eyes over on the side here. We have Red Ninja, which we just did a review on, and we have the awesome Storm Shadow here. I think Storm Shadow is my favorite one out of this wave so far. Really love Snake Eyes too, don't get me wrong. But obviously Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow are my favorite combo. If not my favorite G.I. Joe characters, they're definitely in my top five. Scarlet being pretty much the same size, man. She's a little bit shorter. 
So she comes in a little under six inches. So that's pretty much it for our unboxing and figure review. So out of 10, I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. Paint application is pretty bad in this one. The overall sculpt is not too bad and the face sculpt itself is pretty horrible. The weapons are pretty cool. I mean, it's GI Joe, so obviously anything GI Joe, I try to pick it up. Would not pay full price for these, but I do recommend these if you are a fan of GI Joe and if you can get them on clearance. If you're a huge fan of GI Joe's, yeah, sure, why not, man? They are pretty decent for the selling point, I guess. But my overall opinion, wait for clearance. So as always, let us know in the comments below what you think of our review, what you think of my score out of 10, and what would you rate this figure if you had to give it a score out of 10. And of course, what do you guys think of this toy line? So all you G.I. Joe fans out there, did you guys choose to collect these or did you guys pass on these? So as always, if you like our review, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, smash that like button, and that subscribe button is there as well if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Keep collecting and stay safe.